All right, folks, this is Coach Corbin, and we're doing the Urban Louisville Chess Club podcast. And we have with us um, a young man, originally from Vietnam. He's come to the United States. He's continued his chess career here in the United States, and he's just doing fantastic. He's an amazing player, strong player. We have a nickname for him. We call him Chess Master P. Chess Master P, thank you for uh, doing this interview, taking time out of your you know, your uh, duties around the household and your homework, things like that, to speak with us today. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time, so let's let's go straight to it. What are some of the things you've been doing for the past three months? Um, I'm, I have been playing on a lot of the USCF tournament on the last three months, especially the um, International Chess Academy uh, weekly USCF tournament. Like on the past three months, I played there like 12 or 13 times and won like 10 or 11 times and the rest of them is like second place. Um, also, I participate on um, a few split tournament and over the board tournament on KY. Um, yeah, and uh, I play very good on those tournaments, uh, mostly first place or second place. All right, fantastic. That's good to hear. So you like doing a lot of online tournaments. Is that something you enjoy or do you prefer over the board tournaments? Like like right now that's a lot over the board tournament, but like the past like three three months, like the COVID still um a lot around KY. So yeah, uh online option is good. I mean Right now, like there's um a lot of tournament on over the board tournament on KY, so like I'm start to participate on those tournament right now. Mm -hmm. We'll continue it. Well, I have noticed that. Let me see now. We're in Louisville. Um, Lagrange has been doing a lot of over the board tournaments lately. That's about what a twenty twenty five minute drive when I've taken you there. So, how do you feel about the? you know, the uh, over-the-board tournaments they do in LaGrange, Kentucky. Do you like them? What are, you, what are some of your thoughts on them? Um, I mean, like, I like the tournament there. Like, there's a lot of opinion. That's, like, the first time I participate on over-the-board tournament, like, in LaGrange. Like, there's, there's a lot of players from rating, like, one, more than 1,000 up. But, like, I still win that section. But, yeah, I really, like, the opinion is okay. Like, I mean... I enjoy the play there, but like the distance from there to my house is a little bit far. So yeah, but general, like I like the over the board tournament more than the online mm -hmm. tournament. I mean, yeah, because like you have chance to face more stronger players. Right. And how do you prepare for a tournament? Like the like the like um on Thursday, I usually play um online chess tournament of Marshall Chess Club and on the Saturday before the week before the Larange uh, tournament I usually play on the weekly of International Chess Academy tournament to prepare it. I mean like I don't really like mostly players will like review the opening, open books and learn like that. But like I don't do any of those. I just like play on Saturday the week before the tournament and then play on Thursday to prepare it for sure, and then just performing it on Saturday, the upper tournament. I mean. Okay. So you don't do you um, study or read any chess books? No, okay. never. Okay. How do you ever do any online chess puzzles? Uh, yes, I do it. Like every day with the uh, I have the uh, membership of Chess.com, the okay. flat. Platinum membership chess.com so I can have unlimited puzzle. Yeah. Okay. And so you you do you obviously do a lot of online chess puzzles. That's great. All right. And um, what are some of the tournaments, upcoming tournaments you're gonna to be playing in? Um tomorrow I will play on the International Chess Academy weekly tournament. Yeah. That that um, last week that's a two, weekly last week uh, international chess academy tournament. Like there was a Vietnamese guy too. He has feeder rating, and I like beat him 
on the very interesting game that I sent you already. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was That's a, a nine nine percent game. I mean. Yeah, it's it's pretty powerful game. It's very 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 good. And yeah. um, are you going to any any upcoming tournaments? Yes, tomorrow and then the week next to this week, the Long Range October Blitz. I um, plan to participate in that tournament. Okay, Lagrange. What is that? October 9th, I think it is. You're going to be at the uh, the Grange Public Library Blitz Chess Tournament. That's great. That's fantastic. Do you do you feel pretty pretty confident about doing well at that one? Mm, not sure yet because um, over three of my ratings online, like I I already have a regular and quick rating over the world tournament already. So that means like I we just need the blitz rating to finish up. But like on the three online rating here, my lowest rating is like. The blitz rating with only one thousand five hundred and forty. So like I only good at classical and rabbit okay. because like both of those rating is like more than one thousand seven hundred and the blitz is a little bit low. Okay, all right. And do you plan on making the uh, October sixteenth James Harris Memorial Tournament? Uh, yes, of course. Yeah, great. Yeah, that'll be here in Louisville. Um, you've already paid your entry fee. The entry fee is ten dollars. You've already covered that, and I, I just wanted to let you know we have already registered several people from out of town, and oh. one, one strong player from Louisville. He just registered, Ooh. so you you're going to have some good competition. You're going to have some good healthy competition. A lot of people are taking notice of your 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 strength. They haven't seen you before. You know, I, I see you on a regular basis, you know, through the Urban Louisville Chess Club, but a lot of other people who hadn't seen you, much of you, uh, when they see you play, they, they they always comment to me, he's a strong player. And I say, yeah, and he is a strong player, but I don't think he's reached his peak by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I think you could be 2,000 and easily in a couple of years. In fact, do you, do you have a, a national ranking right now? Is it official? Uh, yes, it's official to yesterday already. Um, so the on the USC up my profile it says that my state ranking is like forty four out of one hundred thirty seven. Okay, and all right, great. So that's that's pretty high, and I suspect it will get higher after you do a couple more tournaments. So, you know, you're you're definitely an up and coming star. This is the Urban Louisville Chess Club podcast. My name's Coach. And uh, we're interviewing today a member of the Urban Louisville Chess Club, uh, Chess Master P. Uh, he's great inspiration, very committed uh, chess athlete. Um, he's just, we just can't, we just pleased as punch that he's with us. And we're looking forward to taking him in a, in a group of other students to the Queen City Classic in Cincinnati. Hopefully they'll be doing that in March 2022. And Chess Master P, I got a little surprise for you. We'll officially present this to you on October 16th, but I wanted to let you know that you have been uh, awarded the Chess Athlete of the Month uh, medal, and you are the Great. official Chess Athlete of the Month for the month of September. And uh, at the October 16th tournament, we'll be giving you that medal. So we really appreciate you, brother. All right, man. Good, good. Uh, Good interview, but before we close out, what's one or two pieces of advice that you would give to a new person to chess? Wait, you still recording? Yes. Okay, so, um, so my my best advice for them is that um, not like don't read it. I mean, don't read any books because I, with me personal, like, it's not help because I. Better like you need need to look like the top player. Like um, I'm fan of Manu Carson, the world world chess player, king chess player, the person that who held um, highest rating on FIDE rating. So like um, I watch his game uh, on the tournament. Like that I follow like his tournament series on okay. 2021. Like I I find out a lot of great games from him. Um, also, I watch Grandmaster 
Liam Lei. He's the number one grandmaster in Vietnam. Hmm. And like has a lot of great tournament on 2021 on Magnus Carlsen series tournament. Okay. Like, I see him perform very well. Um, I get those copy moved from chess.com and then start to analyzing it and uh, improve my skill, I mean. All right, great. That's fantastic. So basically you just uh, looked at, study the games of some of the top performing uh, chess athletes in the world and you learn from it. It's fantastic. That's good advice. All right, brother. Thank you so much. And uh, we will be in touch and I definitely will be in touch with you about uh, us providing transportation for you to the October 9th tournament. Okay. Okay. All right. You bet.